Hi, I'm Doug Franklin, and I serve at Leader Trek's Youth Ministry. We produce the D-Now studies uh, that you've purchased, and this is a tips and training, training video to help you get better at running small groups in your D-Now weekends. So you have purchased the study stand, which is an exciting study, and it's a great one. And so I'm, I'm uh, really thrilled that you have this study and that you're going to be able to challenge students to grow in their faith by putting on the whole armor of God. Let me start by saying thank you. Thank you for working with students. Thank you for caring for them. Thank you for sacrificing this weekend to make sure that students have a real chance to learn and grow. It's when adults really take the time to help students develop and grow spiritually that students move forward. You know, every student needs healthy adults in their life to help them grow. They need a mom and a dad, they need coaches, teachers, small group leaders, Sunday school teachers, all kinds of people to help them grow. And so your work in this weekend is essential for their spiritual growth. So thank you, thank you for taking the time. We are, we are talking about how to stand in the midst of all that's going on. You know, all of us Christians are in a spiritual battle. And the question is, is will we give in? Will we give up or will we stand? And God has promised that he will always be with us and he will fight with us. And he has given us the armor of God. And so for our students to be able to stand in this culture, in this world and survive for Christ, it is actually going to take them to, the, the, they're going to need to put on the whole armor of God so they can stand firm in him, stand firm and fight for him as well too. So this is an important topic in today's world as our culture is um, uh, dissolving in a lot of ways. And we want our students to understand that God stands with them, stands for love, stands for redemption, stands for the gospel. Uh, this is a great opportunity for us to do that with our students. Um, in this D-Now study that you've purchased, the small group is broken down into a number of different ways. You're going to get the Bible study part, but then you're going to get this uh, second look. And the second look is an illustration so that students are able to actually internalize and learn the truth of God's word through a story or an illustration or a fact from history that'll help you give you some context around what students are learning and what truth in the gospel that we're pulling out. You're also going to get the second look, which is scripture, with some more discussion questions. And if you've got some hungry spiritual students and they want to go deeper, this is a great place to go deeper with them. Also, too, is you're going to have the uh, live it out, which is going to be an experience that are going to actually allow for students to experience uh, what they're learning. And then you're going to have the application. And the application is probably the most important part of the lesson. And uh, the facilitation of this is really important. Because when we say to students, how do you want to live differently because of this Bible passage? They're going to say really general things like, I want to be more loving towards people, or I want to be kinder. And while those are really good things, I doubt that they're really going to do those things. I, I just do. So we need to help them make an application that is specific, measurable, has a who, what, when, and there, where. When we do that, Students will say, I'm going to love people more Tuesday after school. I'm going to get involved in a club at school. Maybe I'm going to get involved in the environmental club. And I'm going to go in there and I'm going to listen and I'm going to care for people. And I'm going to talk to them about how important the environment is because God made it and it's beautiful and it reflects his beauty. And if they did something like that, it's very measurable. When, who, what, where, and when. And we would be able to hold them accountable and they would be changing their life by influencing and impacting other people. This is so important. Application is really the key for them to grow. It's when they change. And then finally, there's a chance for us to hold them accountable as well too with that, which allows us to get into a discipleship relationship with them, which is really important. Also included in your uh, small group lessons is devotionals. There's four devotionals that if students want to do a quiet time or have some personal time, that there's some Bible study that they can do and is really helpful material that's in there as well too. So STAND is about helping our students understand that there is a spiritual battle going around, going on. It's also about helping them understand that they have some options, give in, give up, or stand firm. And if they're going to stand firm, then we are going to help them understand what God has provided for them, the full armor of God, so that they are able to stand in this world and not just be defensive, 
but actually go into this world and make a difference for Jesus Christ, be offensive. It's an exciting time for students. Our world is changing rapidly. There's a lot of things that um, they are being confronted with at school and on campus on a regular basis. And this is the time to challenge them. Will they listen to common sense or will they listen to God's word? Uh, the time is now to stand and to make a difference. And I believe if our students will stand in the stream of culture and say, you are going the wrong way, you need to follow Jesus Christ, it will take the full armor of God, but we will see huge impact made through our students by doing that. The time is now to stand. So let's talk this over with our students. I look forward to offering you more tips and training as we go through this video series. Thanks for listening.